Welcome back. It's your boy, TG13. Uh, I took a little hiatus, uh, had a family emergency. Um, so, been gone for about a month. Uh, but, football season's back. First game Thursday, Rams and Bills. Uh, we had our first, or our only, fantasy football draft on Sunday. And, <clears throat> I'm not going to say who, but somebody started drinking about 9 a.m., and you can definitely tell with some of their picks, you know, they didn't really know what was going on. Uh, but first up, I do want to show you guys a little bit of the mock draft that Baby D did. And we're going to skip. Oh, well, 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 uh, yeah. what happened? Oh, I guess I got to go right here. All right, so first pick he had James Conner going uh, he didn't know uh, Noah had James Conner and he had uh, Leonard Fournette he didn't know he was going to keep so he had James Conner going uh, second he had Brees Hall third he had Michael Pittman going to himself uh, fourth pick he had Noah picking Jalen Waddle he thought you know he needs a he needs a wide receiver uh, Damian Pierce going fifth if you know anything about Dan Dan loves those you know those young guys he loves he loves the rookies if there's a rookie on the board, it doesn't matter what position. It could be quarterback, running back, wide receiver, tight end, center. He doesn't care. He's drafting him in the first round. Uh, next up, we had Tanner taking A.J. Dillon. Juju Smith-Schuster going seven to Cody. And eight with a did taking Hollywood Brown. So what actually happened was a little bit different. Uh, we had Leonard Fournette going one, Brees Hall going two, David Montgomery, Michael Pittman, Jerry Judy, Josh Allen. Uh, Tanner loves Josh Allen. I had mocked him there. I think once, I think it was at the very beginning, I had Josh Allen going to Tanner. Uh, he he likes him. I I mean, how could you not? You're getting him in the sixth round. Take him. Uh, Cortland Sutton and Damian Pierce. Somehow, and I don't know how, but... Dan did not take a rookie running back. Uh, but smart move here by A. Diddy. He takes Damian Pierce and then comes back with A.J. Dillon. Very smart move there. Uh, I went with Brandon Cooks. Uh, you, you know, this is where all the wide receivers start going off the board. You have Juju Smith-Schuster, Hollywood Brown, D.K. Metcalf, Mike Williams, Amon Rossi Brown, Brandon Cooks, and Deontay Johnson to round out the seventh round. Uh, then it gets a little bit different. Gabe Davis went to Milky, and then I went tight end. I'm not a huge, I'm not huge at going at tight end early, but I saw Darren Waller sitting there. I believe in that offense. I think Derek Carr is going to have a fantastic year. Uh, having Devonte Adams there just opens up so much more to the field. So I do like Darren Waller this year. Jalen Waddle. This is where the quarterbacks start going. Justin Herbert. Lamar Jackson, then you get CEH, Rashad Bateman, who I really wanted, that was a great pickup, and Allen Robinson. I like both of them. Um, I wish one of them would have dropped to the next round, but it is what it is. Uh, then you have Kyler Murray going in round nine, George Kittle, Chase Edmonds, Kareem Hunt, and Dan loves Kareem Hunt. I'm surprised he fell down to round nine. Figured Dan would get him in the second round. Well, the seventh round in our league. Um, again, we're we're a keeper league. We have five keepers, so your first round or your first five rounds they're already gone. We start in the sixth round. Um, so yeah, I'm surprised Kareem Hunt lasted that long. Devin Singletary, Darnell Mooney, and I had it between Darnell Mooney and Christian Kirk. This is kind of a weird area for me because I do like Hunter Renfro, but I think Christian Kirk's going to get about three thousand targets this year. So even if he doesn't produce. Um, as in 15 touchdowns, he's going to get the receptions and a half PPR, you know, to get you somewhere. I think he's going to have a thousand yard season and getting him there in the ninth round. I'm totally okay with, uh, picking him up at wide receiver, uh, maybe throwing him in my flex. Antonio Gibson went number eight, then Hunter Renfro. I came back with Drake London. I think Drake London is a, uh, is a great talent. Uh, the quarterback's not there this year, but going forward again, with a with a keeper league I like that pick Drake London Devontae Smith Elijah Moore I'm actually surprised Elijah Moore fell down that far Chris Olave fantastic pickup by Dan uh, I, I love Chris Olave I, I like the Saints I think Jameis Winston's gonna have a good year I've said it in a lot of my 
my shows. He's not a horrible quarterback like the media makes it sound. Um, he's not good, but he can get the ball down the field. Miles Sanders, Kenneth Walker, Cordero Patterson. Round out round number 10. Then you come back with Kadarius Toney, Ramondre Stevenson. This is kind of where you start getting your backup running backs. As in, like, running back twos. Okay, let me rephrase that. Running back twos on a team. Um, like your Tony Pollard, uh, your Ramondre Stevenson, and uh, Alexander Madison, we'll talk about later. Um, when you get Adam Thielen, Zach Ertz, I went ahead and grabbed Michael Thomas. Uh, if he comes back even half as good as he once was, I think it was 2019. Uh, fantastic pickup there in the 11th round. Rashad Penny, Dalton Schultz, and I came back with James Cook. Robert Woods, TJ Hawkinson fell down pretty far. I could have waited on Darren Waller, probably another round. Uh, Alan Lazard, Brennan Ayuk, Garrett Wilson, and Pat Fryermuth. Round 13, you have Melvin Gordon, James Robinson. DeAndre Hopkins, Isaiah Pacheco, another one, Dan, Dan loves these young guys, you know, back-to-back rounds, he had Chris Olave and Pacheco right there, uh, Chase Claypool, Jalen Hurts, I went ahead and grabbed Sky Moore, I honestly thought that's who Dan would have picked up, I, you know, he could have got Pacheco the next round, to be honest, uh, so picked up Sky Moore, wanted some of that Chiefs offense, I think Juju's going to be the number one there, but I think Sky Moore going forward, will be the guy. Uh, Tyler Lockett there at number in the, uh, the with the last pick. And then we get Alexander Madison. And I went ahead and grabbed Russell Wilson. I probably could have re- waited a couple more rounds. But either that, I could have grabbed Tyler Algier. I was starting to running or run out of uh, running back spots. Um, so I was kind of just like, I really like him, but I need a quarterback, and I want a top quarterback. I think Russell Wilson's going to have a fantastic year this year. He's got a good old line. He's got really good wide receivers. He's got a really good running back duo. Um, I do like that team. I think they're going to be high powered. Uh, I was talking to my dad earlier, and I told he asked, he's like, "Who'd you draft?" And I told him Russell Wilson, and he's like, "Dude, they're not going to finish in the top three in their division." I am totally against that. I think they could make a good. Uh, they have a good chance to at least win that division, if not finish second, uh, just like everybody else in that division. Everybody in that was the AFC West. Uh, so good, and they're such a good division. Uh, then you have Naheem Hines, MVS, Michael Gallup, George Pickens, Tyler Algier, who I talked up a bunch way before the media caught on. What does that tell you? I know what I'm talking about. Tyler Boyd. Raheem Mostert, Traylon Burks, Joshua Palmer, which I was surprised on. Jamison Williams, fantastic pick there by Dan. Um, you know, a lot of these young guys, he's looking for the future. He doesn't have a very good team this year. Kind of kind of jumped the gun last year trying to get a, a championship team and kind of ruined his team doing that. Um, so, yeah, he's kind of in a rebuild mode right now. Uh, Michael Carter, Russell Gage, Dallas Goddard. I went ahead and picked up a second tight end, which I'm totally against, but we do have 11 bench spots. So I was okay with that. Um, I get another good tight end. If something happens to Darren Waller, Dallas Goddard could have a fantastic year there with A.J. Brown, and I could use him as trade bait, or I could throw him in my flex. So I'm okay. Daryl Henderson, fantastic pickup there by Milky. Uh, I believe will be the starting running back for the Rams, probably week two or week three. I don't trust Cam Akers. He didn't have a fantastic couple games when he came back from injury. I think he's just lost a step, and it's nothing against him. When you hurt your Achilles like that, it's it's hard to come back. Uh, then you have Dak Prescott. I went ahead and grabbed Zamir White. You know, just need another, you know, running back. If something happens to Josh Jacobs, he's going to take over there, and he's a guy for the future, obviously. Uh, Jahan Dotson, Aaron Rodgers, McCole Hardman, Khalil Herbert, Brian Robinson, Jacoby Myers. Still can't believe Brian Robinson got shot. That's crazy. And then this is where you start getting the defenses. Bill's defense, Evan McPherson, Justin Tucker. Yep, you can tell who the Cincinnati fan is there. Packers D, Saints D, J.D. McKissick. I went with Romeo Dobbs, wide receiver for Green Bay. I think he's going to be wide receiver one there in Green Bay. I love that pick. I was totally surprised he lasted that long. And Joe Burrow. 
You have Dawson Knox, Rashad White, Buccaneers defense, Matt Gay, Kenny Gainwell, Cole Komet, Dontrell Hilliard, and Harrison Bucker. And then you get the last couple of rounds. Matt Stafford went really late. And I told everybody what I should have done is drafted Matt Stafford really late. Um, Ravens defense, Colts defense, Irv Smith Jr., Hunter Henry, Noah Fant, Tyrion Davis Price. I don't know a whole lot about him, but I kind of wanted some of that San Fran uh, running back room. Christian Watson, Cowboys defense, Tyler Bass, do it for the memes. Brennan McManus, Jamal Williams, Daniel Carlson, Mike Kosicki, Tom Brady, super, super late, Nico Collins. And then you get the last couple. You get KJ Osborne, Trey Lance, Damian Williams, Derek Carr, super late pick. Again, I think that is a very solid choice. Uh, I think that's Baby D. I went with Steelers defense and Matt Prater. And I just want to jump over, kind of look at some roster. Well, can I just go to, like, everyone's roster? Oh, that is everyone. All right, perfect. Uh, let's look at the first week showdown, see what we got. Obviously, I'm an idiot and don't know how to work this. First up, we have Chuck and Bombs and Cleats and Cleavage. Whoa, what is what is going on? No, get off my screen. No, no, get off my screen. What is this? All right, cool. You're just playing an ad. Can I get paid for this? I don't want you to add my video. Come on, man. I got like 50 followers. I got 50 subscribers. You're killing me right now. No, it's cool. I'll wait on you. Way to ruin my show. The whole 25 people that are going to watch this. Thanks. Oh, this isn't even what I wanted. Well, that is on me, apparently. Can I just go... The scoreboard... Box score? Ah, there we go. That's exactly what I wanted. Currently, I am expected to lose by eight points, nine points. Wow, horrible math on my part. Hey, come on now, it's nine o'clock. Um, I have Russell Wilson playing at Seattle. He has Josh Allen playing the Rams. Mm, I like my odds. Rams are still a good defense. I know he's projected to outscore Russell Wilson by four. I think it's going to be a lot closer than that, and I would even give the edge to Russell Wilson, but that's just me. You know, comeback game, playing against his old team at Seattle. Come on, dude. Dude's about to throw 600 yards and 18 touchdowns. He's going to be like Madden rookie mode right now. Then you have Joe Mixon playing Pittsburgh and Austin Eckler playing the Raiders. Uh, I pick Austin Eckler there. Um... You know, playing against the Raiders, Joe Mixon playing against Pittsburgh. Could he, you know, could they be blowing out Pittsburgh? I don't I don't trust that offense. Could he be blowing out, or the, the Bengals be blowing out Pittsburgh and they just give it to him late and he might get a touchdown? Possibly. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give the edge there to Austin Eckler. You have Jonathan Taylor playing at Houston and Aaron Jones playing at Minnesota. Of course, I'm giving the edge there to Jonathan Taylor. Minnesota, Minnesota still got a decent defense. And it's Houston. Brees Hall playing Baltimore and Marquise Brown playing Kansas City. Any he's. Um, yeah. I'm going to give the edge to Brees Hall. Sorry, Tan. Doing it. Mike Evans at Dallas. Justin Jefferson against Green Bay. Hate to say it. I'm going to give it to Justin Jefferson. Jamar Chase playing Pittsburgh. Stephon Diggs playing at the Rams. Yeah. I don't know, man. That's tough. You're going against Jalen. I kind of agree with that. I'll give the edge to Jamar Chase, but not by much. Brennan Cooks playing Indy. Wow. Almost said Indiana. Indianapolis. And Amari Cooper playing Carolina. Yeah, I'm giving it to Brennan Cooks. Has a um, better, better quarterback. Davis Mills, um, not a huge fan of Jacoby Brissett, but 
Darren Waller playing at the Chargers, and Mark Andrews playing the Jets. Definitely taking Mark Andrews there. Christian Kirk playing at Washington, and Miles Sanders playing at Detroit. Uh, I think Detroit's, I mean, we've all seen um, hard knocks. Uh, I think they are a much better team than they were last year. Uh, but Christian Kirk playing at Washington, again, he's going to get, if this guy has less than 45 targets this game, something's going on. Doug Peterson needs to be fired. Then you have the defenses and kickers, and I honestly do not care. Oh, yeah. Um, go back to this. I'm going to give the edge to me. Sorry, Tanner. I have you losing. I have me winning. Suck it. All right, so you have Derrick Henry playing My Cup Runneth Over. Okay. Anywho, so you have Justin Herbert playing Vegas, Kyler Murray playing Kansas City. I'm going to give the edge there to Kyler Murray. He's going to be running a lot. James Conner against Kansas City. Najee Harris against Cincinnati. Again, dude, I don't I don't trust the Steelers' offense. I'm going to give the edge there to James Conner. Yeah, Derrick Henry, doesn't matter, playing Josh Jacobs. Derrick Henry's going to win that one. Uh, just to go over it, Derrick Henry's playing the Giants, and Josh Jacobs is playing the Chargers. Yeah, definitely going Derrick Henry. Christian McCaffrey playing Cleveland. Damian Harris playing at Miami. Yep, giving that one to, to Christian McCaffrey. A.J. Brown playing at Detroit, and Devontae Adams playing at the Chargers. I'm going to give that edge to Devontae Adams. So He does have some good wide receivers. Running backs are a little iffy. Only because, again, I don't trust the offense there in Pittsburgh. We have to see something. And then Josh Jacobs, you know, are they going to give him a thousand yards or a thousand carries this year, or or not? We'll see. I know they played him a lot during that first preseason game. I was very shocked. Uh, next up, we have Michael Pittman Jr. playing at Houston. Cooper Cup playing at Buffalo. Given that's Cooper Cup, until you can stop him, yeah. Mike Williams playing Vegas. Allen Robinson playing Buffalo. Oh, man, I just just realized. Hey, dude, how mad are you that Tanner picked Josh Allen? Dude. <laughs> oh, no, not Josh Allen. That's not what I meant. Uh, why didn't you pick up Matt Stafford? I'm an idiot. I don't know why I was thinking Josh Allen. I was just sitting there looking at Buffalo. But I'm confused on why you didn't pick up Matt Stafford. At least it gets an all-out stack. Anyways. Uh, what was I? Mike Williams, Allen Robinson. I'm going to go Mike Williams. Travis Kelsey at Arizona. Pat Fryermuth at Cincinnati, picking Travis Kelsey. Jalen Waddell against New England. Damian Pierce against Indy. I kind of want to lean Damian Pierce. I'm going to lean Jalen Waddell, but I really want to lean Damian Pierce. And it's the defenses. I agree with ESPN. I have Derrick Henry starting off 1-0. Next up, you have Step, Step Burrow. I'm stuck. Jeez. And the Fear Boners. Fantastic. Lamar Jackson at the Jets. Dak Prescott against Tampa Bay. Of course, I'm taking Lamar Jackson. Cam Akers against Buffalo. Saquon at Tennessee. I'm taking Saquon. Uh, I just talked about it with you know, Darnell Henderson. Uh, Alvin Kamara at Atlanta. And Zeke against Tampa. I'm going to take Alvin. CeeDee Lamb against Tampa, Nick Chubb against or at Carolina. Yeah, I don't trust that offense right now. So I'm going to go CD, Debo Samuel at Chicago, T. Higgins against Pittsburgh. I'm going to lean T. Higgins there. Uh, and we'll see if they run Debo the same that they did last year as a, you know, a wide, a wide back, I think is what I heard Field Yates call it the other day. Uh, wide back, you know, he plays wide receiver and running back. We'll see. Keenan Allen against Vegas, Tyree Kill, New England. Oof. Until Tua can prove it, I'm going to lean Keenan Allen there. Cortland Sutton at Seattle. Deontay Johnson at Cincinnati. I'm taking Cortland Sutton again. I think that Russell Wilson is going to have an 800-yard game and 15 touchdowns. So, I'm going to take Cortland Sutton there. George Kittle at Chicago. Dalton Schultz against Tampa Bay. Uh, yeah, Tampa Bay is pretty tough. I'm going to go George Kittle. Then you have Juju at Arizona. And you have Leonard Fournette at Dallas. 
I am going to lean the running back. I'm going to lean Leonard Fournette. But in the end, I do believe Step Burrow, I'm stuck, is winning this game. And last but not least, you have, okay, but this is our year. And then you have over the top. You have Jalen Hurts at Detroit, and you have Patrick Mahomes at Arizona. I'm going to lean Patrick Mahomes. He's going to have to do a lot more than what he's used to. Wow. Look at all these check marks here. All right. Javante Williams at Seattle. Elijah Mitchell. I'm taking Javante Williams. DeAndre Swift against Philly. And Travis Etienne against Washington, at Washington. I think Swift's better. I do like Etienne. I think he's going to have a good game. But I'm going to go ahead and lean DeAndre Swift. See what they can do with Jordan Davis. That man child. Dalvin Cook against Green Bay. And then you have DK Metcalf against Denver. Always going to lean running back. I'm going to take Dalvin, Dalvin Cook there. DK Metcalf doesn't have a quarterback currently. Seattle, if you need anybody, I got kind of an arm. Maybe do some surgery, and then and then we can go throw the ball around and you know possibly sign me. I'll sign a one year. I'll sign a three year seven hundred fifty thousand dollar contract right now. Just saying. And next up, you have DJ Moore, who I believe is a top ten wide receiver, playing Cleveland. Who Baker? Who Baker? Yeah. Terry McLaurin playing Jacksonville. Sorry, dude. Jacksonville stacked. I'm going to take DJ Moore. Why? Because he has Baker Mayfield, and they're playing Cleveland. Baker's about to throw so many interceptions, just trying to get something. Baker's about to have, like, eight interceptions and ten touchdowns. Doesn't matter. YOLO. Uh, Chris Godwin at Dallas. Jerry Judy at Seattle. Yeah, I'm going to lean Jerry Judy here. Same reason I said with Cortland Sutton. Jerry Judy's about to have 450 yards and seven touch. Nope. Four touchdowns. Not 750 yards. He's going to have 300 and four touchdowns. Next up, Amon Ross, St. Brown against Philly. Alan Lazard at Minnesota. I'm taking Amon Ra because he has a fantastic name. Zach Ertz against Kansas City, and Kyle Pitts against New Orleans. Mm. I'm going to lean Kyle Pitts just because he's like their main target. Uh, Zach Ertz has a couple guys he can work with. David Montgomery. Go ahead and scroll that down a little bit. David Montgomery against San Francisco. Kareem Hunt at Carolina. I don't like David Montgomery, but I am leaning David Montgomery right here. Then you have your defenses and kickers. Honestly, do not care. I side with Baby D on this. Okay, but this is our year. Taking the win. So, go back over. I have Chuck and Baum starting off 1-0. I have Derrick Henry starting off 1-0. I have Stepborough, I'm stuck, starting 1-0. And okay, but this is our year. Starting off 1-0. Well, thank you everyone for stopping by for my first video back from from what had happened and I'm going to continue to do more and again thank you if you haven't already go ahead and like and subscribe all we do is talk BS and we talk football that's it you know if you guys want to throw some comments in there and go hey let's do a video on this or hey let's do a live stream or whatever go right ahead we'll argue we'll talk it is what it is you guys have a good rest of the night